Hi, Prince and Princesses. I'm Auntie Kay, and this is our children's Sabbath school program. And guess what? You are welcome to come along with me. It's a H A P P Y. It's a happy Sabbath, and welcome to the Auntie Kay Children's Sabbath School program. To all of you, my Prince and Princesses all around the world, we are on lesson two, and our topic for today is come help us. Mm -hmm. That is what our whole lesson for lesson two is all about. Come help us. And guess what? For us to find out who's asking to come and help us, we have to stay tuned to the entire program, which I just want to say thank you in advance for doing so. Thank you for singing along. Thank you for learning. Thank you for doing the craft. Thank you for participating. And thank you for welcoming Christ into your hearts. Yes, indeed. Come and help us. Lesson two. Welcome to the anti -Gay Children's Sabbath School program. You all know I am so happy that you are here with me. So now, let's get started with our welcome. Hello and welcome to anti -Gay Children's Sabbath School program where Prince and Princesses all around the world get to enjoy and learn about the love of God. Through sign language, messages with Princess Malloray, character teachers from Nails, Nature Nuggets, Sing Along Time, Very Versus, Story Hill with Princess Da Vinci, test your knowledge with Quiz Kids, hashtag Puzzle Fun. Enjoy object lessons with Auntie Patty Pat, Bible questions with Ask Past Vanessa, great crafty crafts and good yummy goodness with the girls' tasty treats. So, no matter where you're living on this great big planet, you are welcome to participate, enjoy and share. Yes, we live far and wide, but God's love connects us no matter how you look, where you're from, the color of your skin, or even your culture. Welcome! Yes, all of us have been welcomed. I feel welcome. Every time I hear that welcome, I'm like, yes. I feel as if I can enjoy this program. I feel as if, yes, I don't want to be anywhere else but right here watching the anti -Gay Children's Sabbath School program. So yes, now that we all feel welcome, it's time for us to hear and learn how to sign our message sign of the day with Princess Marla Ray. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Let's sign together. We serve God when we share with others. It's prayer time. Let's close our eyes and clasp our hands. A happy Sabbath, Almighty Father. Thank you for allowing us to be able to say happy Sabbath. And thank you for all the prince and princesses all around the world, including myself, that we will all learn something new today, something that we can apply to our lives, that we can continue to grow in being your children of God. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for being with us. And I thank you for all the participants. And I thank you for everyone who's watching this program, no matter where they are in the world that you will bless them and that you will keep them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we've heard and seen how to sign a very important message sign of the day which says, I serve God when I welcome my home to others. Yes, that's not really, that's just anti K summarizing it, but it just says one way that I could serve God is by inviting others into my home also. So thank you so much, Princess Mallory, for sharing and teaching us how to sign that great message. And now that we've had our prayer, it's now time for our Nature Nuggets with Prince Niall. Hi guys, have you ever heard about humble plants? Let me show you. In some countries, people call them shame plants or merry merry cozy dolls. I can't imagine what these plants have in store for us. Number one, trust your instincts. The leaves of a sensitive plant fold up when we touch it. This is its way of playing dead to protect itself from grazing animals and even humans. Our instincts do the same for us. Do you trust your instincts? It may save your life. Number two, don't stay down. The leaves of the plant reopen several minutes after closing suddenly. This is a great lesson for us. 
regardless of what happens or what brings you down, don't stay down forever. Number three, walk in your purpose. Why did God create this plant? Do you know its purpose? This plant is a great source of sinus and antibacterial treatment, and it is even an antivenom. Imagine that. Are you walking in the purpose for which God created you? Today, decide to walk in your purpose. This sensitive plant is an amazing plant teacher. Niall, you get an A, A++, A++++ for always sharing with us character building tips that we could use, that we could apply to our lives. And isn't it amazing that God through nature, through animals, or th just anything that we could learn a lesson and apply it to our lives. Thank you so much, Niall, for being used by God to help us to learn how that we can be better. Thank you so much. So, 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 so much. So now that we are going to apply all of what Niall has taught us this week, it's now time for us to get our praises on. Yes, indeed. It's sing a long time. That you are always making D You are a dreamer A dynamic and delightful little dreamer E is easily for all your endless energy And F is for the funny friend you always are to me G is for the goodness that will keep you genuine H my happy, healthy, honest, huggable helping hand Can I help you with the next verse? Sure I, I see intelligence J, will jump for joy and dance When K, shows off your kindness We can always use a little extra kindness We sure can L, will let you know that in this life you're always loved And M means you're marvelous, you can't mess that one up N, because you're nice, no one needs to tell you twice And O I bet you know we have a little bit more to go. How much more? I'm not telling you. O will keep you optimistic with the letter P. It's agreed the P prepares you for many possibilities. Q is for quality. Now here's what you are to letters R, S, and T. R is for how rad you are, it's so remarkable. S is your success at being so sensational. He will keep you thankful for today and that's terrific And you is for unique because you are specific Yep V You are valuable And a W Well that would be twice as wonderful And X 
Hold on a sec. X is for... Xylophone? Yeah, that's a hard one. X-ray? How about X Factor? Cause you can do it all. <laughs> y, well that one's just for you. And Z, cause you is zany too. So that's it. There's nothing else. But that's how you should always ABC yourself. all know that's one of Auntie Gay's favorite times. I love to sing praises to God. I absolutely do. So now that we've gotten our praise on, it's now time for us to hear our memory verse. My name is Rafan. I am from Botan. The memory verse for today is Hebrews 13 verse 2. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For some have unwittingly entertained angels. Thank you so much, my prince, all the way from Botswana, for sharing with us our memory verse for a lesson two. And now it's time for us to hear our story. Hmm. Come help us. Let's see what Princess Da Vinci is going to share with us over at Story Hill about this week's story. Let's go. Hi boys and girls, it's story time. Come help us. Do you enjoy getting ready for a guest in your home? What is your special responsibility as your family prepares? Do you help fix special food or do you help with cleaning the house? Our Bible story today is about the kindness of a good woman. Come over to Macedonia and help us. Come over to Macedonia and help us. Paul woke up and started to look around him. He listened to the 
even breathing of his friends. No one else was awake. Silas, Silas, wake up! Coaxed Paul. Silas rolled over. Silas, Luke, Timothy, wake up! Paul was wide awake now. I know where we're supposed to go next, he said excitedly to his sleepy companions. God just gave me a vision. I saw a man from Macedonia saying, Come over and help us. Come over and help us. Silas yawned and stretched. Hmm. That's great, Paul. We can catch a ship over to Neapolis from here. Paul didn't sleep much the rest of the night. He knew God was leading them to the cities in Macedonia, and he could hardly wait to be on his way. Soon, the four friends were in Philippi, a city in Macedonia. They began preaching to everyone who would listen. They enjoyed sharing their love for Jesus. When Sabbath came, Paul said, Let's go outside the city and sit by the river for our worship. As they neared the riverside, they saw a, a group of women who had already gathered to pray. May we join you? Paul asked politely. Yes, please. We would like that, one of the women answered. Then she introduced herself. I am Lydia, she said, and these are my friends. Paul was happy to meet these women who loved God. It didn't matter to him if a person was a man or woman, Jew or Greek. He wanted to share the love of Jesus with everyone. Although Jesus had been living on earth just a short time ago, there were many people who did not know about him. As they sat down, Paul breathed in a little prayer. Holy Spirit, please open the hearts of these women to the good news of Jesus. Then Paul told the women how Jesus lived in, and died to save us. The new friends talked and prayed together. Then some of the women left, but Lydia stayed. I would like to know more. I want to know why Jesus died for me, she said. That same day, Lydia and her whole family were baptized. Lydia was so happy. Please, Paul, won't you and your companions come stay with us? Paul was pleased. He smiled and Lydia encouraged him. We'd love to have you, she said. So while they worked in Philippi, Paul, Silas, Luke, and Timothy stayed at Lydia's house. Lydia was a respected businesswoman in her town. She saw special purple cloth. It seemed as if everyone knew her. Because of Lydia's kindness in sharing her home, many people learned about Jesus. Her home became the main meeting place for the new believers in that city. Lydia served God through sharing her home. Maybe you can't have a guest live at your home as Lydia did. But wherever you are, you can help others feel at home by being friendly and kind. Happy Sabbath! Princess Davincia, Princess Davincia, thank you so much because every week you do such a terrific job in sharing with us our story. And it's not that you're just reading them for us, but we are learning as you read. So thank you greatly, 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 greatly. Thank you so much, my darling Princess Bumblebee. And now it's time for us to hear from Thim and Nathan as they share with us what they learned from this story, Come Help Us. Mommy's going to finish. Mommy, oh. I take a lot of time. 
Ow. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Do you remember when we went in Auntie Liana's house? Yes. The other time we went like watching trolls. Uh huh. And watching cartoons. Uh huh. And then we also built a stick. Uh huh. Is there any other thing? We eat ice cream. Uh huh. And we play guitars. And then we play puppy play time. And we also play yakshan. Okay, cool, Nathan. Um, so, will you do the same thing as Auntie Liana did? Yes. Oh, good. Me, I'm not sure. Why? Because I'm shy. And if you trust the friends, they are we. Uh, I'll not. I'll not be shy. Anyway, Nathan. Even if it's people that you don't know, you gonna just invite them in your house? Cool. Nice. You have a good heart. You have a good spirit. Okay. Guys, we need to welcome people in our house. And then we need to open our doors to welcome people in our house. And, uh, and we, we need to have the, a good spirit like Auntie Liana just did. I hope that he is in what Tim just said. Uh -huh. And if he... If you want to please God, just do it. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Thim and Nathan. And that is very true. One of the ways that we, as our message says, that we can serve God is that we share our homes with others. Thank you so much, my princes, Thim and Nathan. And now it's time for Quiz Kids. Those listening ears were already turned on. So now it's time to answer some questions. What's the name of the place Paul heard in his dreams? Was it A. Pathmas, B. Judah, or C. Macedonia? C. Macedonia Paul had a few friends with him whose name was not mentioned. Was it A. Peter, B. Silas, C. Luke, or D. Timothy? A. Peter Lydia was a businesswoman who sold. What did she sell? Was it A. Gold, B. Homes, C. Purple cloth, or D. Grape juice? C. Purple cloth Hashtag puzzle fun. Hashtag puzzle fun is coming up right now. Come help us puzzle. Directions. Unscramble the following to find the names of Lydia's house guests. Yes, so we're going to have to put on our thinking caps and head back into our story. Let's remember the names of the persons that were in the story. So number one, we're seeing A-L-U-P. A-L-U-P. And the names of the story were... Ah! Paul. P-A-U-L. Number two, S-I-A-S-L. Another person that was there with Paul was... Silas. So that's going to be S-I-L-A-S. Silas. Number three, K-L-U-E. This one's easy. This looks like Luke. L-U-K-E. And number four, Y-T-M-O-H-T-I. Another disciple I remember. Yes, I could hear somebody sing. I think it's Timothy. T-I-M-O-T-H-Y. Thank you for our teamwork. Quiz kids, check. Puzzle fun, check. What's next? Yes, 
our mission story is next and we are going to hear and learn something new so let's take a listen Praying for a baby. What is your favorite Bible story? In the African country of Zambia lives a mother whose favorite Bible story is Hannah. Do you remember the story of Hannah? Hannah was a loving wife who wanted more than anything to become a mother. She wanted to have a baby. But she couldn't. She and her husband waited for many years, but no baby was born. Hannah was very sad. In those days, the people of Israel traveled to worship in the tabernacle in Shiloh once a year. Hannah was especially sad during these trips. She cried and sometimes refused to eat. During one visit to Shiloh, Hannah went to the tabernacle to pray for a baby. When Eli the high priest saw her crying and praying, he told her that God would give her a baby. And God did. Hannah became the happiest of mothers when she gave birth to a boy she named Samuel. In Zambia, mother read the story of Hannah in the Bible, and she liked it very much. You see, mother also had a problem. After she got married, she gave birth to a baby boy. But then no more babies came. She and her husband waited. One year. Two years. Five years. Ten years. People started to ask questions. Why aren't you having any more babies? A friend asked. That's the way it is, mother replied. God will provide. A kind neighbor suggested mother go to the hospital for a checkup. Maybe the medical doctor can help, she said. No, that's the way it is, mother said. God will provide. Someone suggested that mother visit the witch doctor. The witch doctor can give you a secret herb, she said. Mother wanted a baby, but she knew the witch doctor could not help. She did not believe in witch doctors. She believed in the God of heaven, and she was sure that only he could give her a baby no, mother said. God will provide. The story of Hannah gave mother hope. Hannah was a praying woman who never gave up praying. Mother prayed. She prayed for 13 years. Father prayed with her. God, please give us another child, she prayed. Then one day mother noticed something was different. She was pregnant. Mother and father immediately knelt to pray. Thank you, God, they prayed. A few months later, mother gave birth to a baby boy. She and father named him Chilala, which means worthwhile in her Tonga language. In no time, mother gave birth to another boy. This child was named Shakandila, which means let it be so. Today, mother perhaps is the happiest mother in Zambia. She has three boys, and they love Jesus. God has blessed my family beyond measure, mother said. We just had to be patient. When you ask God for something good in faith, he will give you more than you could possibly desire. Mother, Marjorie Chisonga, teaches home economics and food and nutrition at Ruzanga Secondary School, located on land where U.S. missionary William Harrison Anderson established the first Adventist outpost in northern Rhodesia, now Zambia, in 1905. Mission offerings supported Anderson's work and still helped to spread the gospel through missionaries. Thank you for your mission offering. Another great mission story, another great reason why we should serve God and love God and also start saving our 13th Sabbath offering. Yes, indeed. Another great mission story. Check. <laughs> and now it's time for us to learn through some sort of object lesson. We never know what Auntie Patty Pat is going to use to teach us something. So Auntie Patty Pat is up next. Hey boys and girls, today I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. They're strange friends because if I go close by, they're going to run, so I've got to sneak upon them. I haven't given them names except for one. 
do you see the cat right in the middle with all the chickens around? I call him my cat bird because it's so interesting. He hangs with them and plays with them just like he's one of them. It doesn't matter that they're all chickens and he's a cat. He is so a much a part of their life. And it makes me think that we serve God when we share our home with others. In the same way that these chickens share their home, their play space, their eating space, their food with the ki kitten. And after a while, he forgets that he is a kitten. Just look at them eating together and playing together like they're all the same and that's how God wants it remember we serve God when we share our homes with others in just the same way Catbird is sharing my yard with all the chickens Thank you, Auntie Patty Pat. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much for using what the Lord has given to you. You are great at using object lessons to teach us very important messages. Thank you. How can I say thanks? <laughs> thank you, Auntie Patty Pat. And now it's time to ask Pastor Nasa. Hey, thank you so much for that question. It's a really good one. Well, you know, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 52, the Bible says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be transformed. You see, boys and girls, when we go to heaven, the Bible says that God is going to transform our bodies. That's right. That means we're going to be stronger. We're going to be faster. We're going to be, I mean, in just the best shape ever. Better than the best shapes you even know right now. I can't wait to go to heaven. And that's why, boys and girls, if you want to go to heaven to experience that transformation where you're going to be able to do things that you can't even do right now, perhaps even fly, I don't know, perhaps even swim to the bottom of the ocean, I don't know. The best thing to do is to give your lives to Jesus. That's right. When you give your lives to Jesus, you prepare yourself and give yourself the opportunity to go to heaven with him forever. And I want to go to heaven so that I can do all the things I can't do right now. Do you want to come with me? Well, let's give our lives to Jesus and we can do the same things together. Until next time. <laughs> do you know? As a child, I used to think about that very same question. Will I be able to fly when I get to heaven? Oh, Pastor Nasa, thank you for answering that question. But you know what? I just want to wait to see when I get to heaven what's going to happen. Because I have so many questions. I have so many things I want to know. But I'm looking forward to heaven just to see what's going to happen up there. Thank you, Ethan, for our question. And thank you, Pastor Nasa, for answering it for us. And now... Aunt Polly, she's over at Crafty Craft Corner with another great craft for us this week.
Polly, Aunt Polly, Aunt Polly, Aunt Polly. Aunt <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Polly, for another creative. Do you know a princess said to Aunt Polly once, we're like, we love your craft. Just love to see your creative fingers at work. So yes, Aunt Polly, love to see your creative fingers at work. Yes, indeed. Thank you for another craft that will remind us about our story. And now it's time for us to learn another recipe from Princess to Cal. To Cal's mm -mm -mm, tasty treats is up next. Cinnamon adds a very rich flavor to dishes. I love using it every opportunity I get. Today, we'll be using cinnamon to make cinna bunnies. Cinnamon rolls in the shape of bunnies. Let's get started. Our ingredients for today include Pillsbury cinnamon rolls with cream cheese icing, sliced almonds, and candy. You'll also be needing cooking spray, mittens, a lined baking sheet, and a cooling rack. While your oven is preheating to 350 degrees, spray your baking sheet. Place four cinnamon rolls on your baking sheet for your bunny head. Unwind the other rolls to make your rabbit ears. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes and allow to cool before decorating. One of my favorite places to go on Sabbath is my Grammy Sadie and Papa Sammy's house. Besides the delicious food being served, their house is always open to be visited by people. When you share your house with others, you share Jesus. Time to share these Cinnabunnies! I'm going to sing it. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Yes, indeed. Now, we all know this wouldn't be an NDK Children's Sabbath School program if I didn't sing yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Princess Dekel, yes. Yes, indeed. Thank you for sharing that mm, yummy, rific <laughs> recipe with us. And my friends and princesses, the program is indeed coming to an end. But come next week, I'll be back with lesson three. So remember that although i could hear somebody saying it now <laughs> although our heavenly father our mighty god he is everywhere he wants to be he wants to live he wants us to invite him into our hearts because when we do that means we will be better at being better mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes our heavenly father he wants us to invite him into our hearts. I love all of you. Yes, I do. Until next week's Sabbath, let's be good boys and girls. Let's end with the Lord's Prayer. So let's close our eyes and clasp our hands. Until next week, happy Sabbath. Our Father in the heaven, how be my name, thou kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Bye! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath, everyone! And we'll see you all again next week! <laughs>